You know what? You know what I notice? Nobody panics when things go according to plan. Even if the plan is horrifying, introduce a little anarchy. Well, then everyone loses their money. Some men aren't looking for anything logical, like money. They can't be bought, bullied, reasoned, or negotiated with. Some men just want to watch the world burn. Now Margarito gets the space he wants and eats an uppercut for his trouble and smiles at Cotto as if to say, all right, now we're fighting. Miguel Cotto looks very sharp, very quick in the early going. Another left hook. Margarito lands his own left simultaneously. Hurry by Cotto. Margarito looking for opportunities, just putting space between the punches. Now the left uppercut for Margarito. And he steps into the corner and fires away. Cotto calmly fights his way out, switches southpaw. Good job slipping the right hand there. And another combination. A skillful first round, but at the end of the day, it appeared Cotto has had more moments than Margarita.
I've got him now. But he's never been able to get a finger in this big. He's facing epic pressure tonight. Antonio Margarito is bringing the frustrations and the impatience of a long career of waiting. In this moment against Miguel Cotto, leaving nothing to chance. Constantly releasing his hands in bunches. Shots, but it's like hitting a brick wall that continues to close in. Now Margarito with one of his patented rallies. And Cotto just backs away without trying to answer it. Margarito getting the better of him here. This goes out up until this Cotto's hurt. Cotto's hurt. I had I had Cotto winning his way up until this last play. And now Cotto ties Margarito up, acknowledging perhaps that he was hurt on that flurry, and he lands a big right hand to end the round. Tough round to score. Up until that point, I had Cotto winning round, well, but after that, who knows? Through 10, a brewing classic in Las Vegas. And when you look at Cotto's face, he looks like the loser. Again, he explodes out of nowhere. But just the judges looking at his face and people watching, looking at Cotto's face, he looks like the guy who's taken the beating. And we know that could be a big factor sometimes, too. Not just the face, but the facial expression. Even. 11th round of a scheduled 12. I mean, we know Cotto's heavy-handed, and we see him landing these titanic shots, and they don't seem to phase Margarito at all. He's landed the big thing, head snapping punches, but never has Margarito been hurt or in trouble in this round. been retreating throughout the entire fight. These are big mental impressions for judges. Those little Margarito short shots on the inside now, Emmanuel. Oh, yeah. That's and Cotto goes to a knee. Succumbing to the pressure, much the way Zab Tudo succumbed to the pressure against him last year. And that knockdown could ultimately be the difference in the fight. Antonio Margarito has finally gotten his man to bend. Miguel Cotto getting beaten up by a big man. Over, it's over. He's exhausted and it's it. almost over. The punishment has accumulated to the point where Cotto has nothing left. There's no point in Kenny Bayless allowing this to proceed. No, it's over. It's over. And if Angelista Cotto's going to throw in the towel, and Antonio Margarito has the victory he's been waiting for all his life. That is a modern boxing classic. An epic fight with an epic conclusion. The first loss of Cotto's career.